this video, I will talk about offline facial motion capture. You might have heard of um, in Houdini 19, we have this uh, mocap stream node that can be used for streaming motion capture data from your motion capture devices to Houdini. Okay, here you have uh, quite a lot of uh, devices to choose from. One of them is a uh, live link face. This is a free iPhone app that you can send your motion capture facial data from your iPhone app to Houdini. Then the data can be fit into your face rig. Then down the stream, it can drive the face expressions. For example, I have something like this. All right. The Live Link Face iOS app is part of the Unreal Engine from Epic Games. Okay, they released this uh, Live Link Face iOS app back in 2020. With this app, you can take advantage of uh, iOS uh, AR kit to do your virtual production for uh, character face. All right, yeah. So this is the news. You can find this app on the App Store. Okay, Live Link Face from uh, Unreal Engine is free and from their official website, from docs.unrealengine.com, you can find the documentation for recording facial animation from an iPhone. So this uh, tutorial is very detailed. Okay, I won't go through, but uh, you can follow it, do your live facial expression motion capture. For Houdini 19, we have this uh, motion capture stream node that can receive data from your iOS Live Link Face app when they are on the same network. All right, you just connect to your uh, app, then you can start to record, and also you can uh, export the recording to a uh, Geometry Data Cache. Yes, of course you can do it live, but in some situation where you don't have a Houdini uh, on your computer or you just want to record something uh, through the Live Link Face app, then you want to upload or give it to some other artists, let them bring into Houdini, then you need some tools to do that because currently the app only supports Live Link. For example, in a studio setup, Usually you want to ask some actor to record their acting, but you don't necessarily give them a Houdini to record it, right? So you can just ask them to record it and then send you the file, okay? When you receive the file, it should be a zip file. Inside the zip file, you can find a CSV file, which have all the motion capture data recorded. Of course, there will be also be a reference video. So how to load the CSV file? So I wrote um, a little digital asset that can help you to load the CSV file from the unzipped folder. So what it does is this, basically it can, you can browse to the CSV file and then you will align the first frame of the animation facial data to your start frame frame 1 so that start frame of that data will be aligned with start frame 1 of course you can change this number and by default the iPhone app live link face app will have a frame per second value of 60 so if you record the video at 60 frame per second key in this value here so that we know that uh, we will take the 60 fps data and convert it to uh, your current Houdini setup which is for me is by default 24 frame per second and this tool also have a functionality to write this file into a sequence of geometry data then once you have done that you can use it in your uh, Houdini, right, when you scrub the timeline. Let me give you a little bit more background about my setup, just in case if you're interested. So all the red nodes are my digital assets. So this uh, load blank shape from CSV file is being one of them. And I have others like join based facial rig. Then these are the controls. If you don't want to do facial motion capture, you can do like keyframe animation. If you select one of the facial combined controls, we need to switch this to corresponding input. Then when we select this control, we can move the control to drive the facial expression. 
then the data will be fed into my facial auto rig, which has all the configuration for different uh, blend shapes. Okay, then everything will be through uh, joint capture by harmonic and capture paint and joint deform. Then this will drive the facial expression, which will be used for driving other geometry, say, eyelashes. Then in the end, you have a character with facial expression. Okay, so this is my workflow. Hello, this is offline live thing face capture. Thank you. So that's all about it. Uh, thank you so much. See you next time.